Public Safety Training Center. This was about anarchy, and this was about the attempt to destabilize. New tonight at 6, there is a Connecticut connection to the attack here on Atlanta police officers that happened over the weekend. It turns out one of the 23 people accused of throwing bricks, rocks, and more at police is actually from our state. Channel 3's Dylan Fearon has the bizarre details. It's our first look at Emma Bogish from Bethany. Her mugshot from prison just hours after she and a group of rioters allegedly hurled fireworks and Molotov cocktails at police officers, threw bricks and rocks, and set construction equipment on fire in Atlanta. This is the wrong way to go about something that you don't agree with. The rioters were near the proposed Atlanta Public Safety Training Center, also called Cop City, by people who oppose it. There have been protests over the training center because of environmental concerns at the site. Atlanta police are calling this a coordinated attack, claiming the suspects were peacefully protesting as a cover when all of a sudden it became chaotic. The rioters all dressed in black, something Channel 3 law enforcement expert Paul Vance says was intentional. It's called a black block protest where in fact they remove their existing clothing. They have black clothing on, so it makes them harder to identify. But authorities in Georgia were able to identify Bogus, charging her and 22 others with domestic terrorism, which carries a severe penalty. They're felony violations, which the lowest one, as I recall, was a minimum of five years imprisonment to a maximum of 35 years. No officers were injured. Bogus was booked at three in the morning Monday. All the suspects in court today wearing orange jumpsuits. Tonight, we're learning more about Bogish. She used to be an environmental teacher at Common Ground, a charter school in New Haven. Common Ground tells us Bogish worked there for nearly a year and left last August. We also knocked on what we're told is the Bogish family home in Bethany, but no answer. Atlanta police say officers towed 35 vehicles and estimate the suspects caused $150,000 in damage. In Bethany, Dylan Fear and Channel 3, Eyewitness News.